every nation has employed different forms of diplomacy to either boost or to sever ties with other countries. India has used cricket diplomacy to win Pakistan's trust and to send them a message that all's not well. Cricket matches are used as icebreakers and political signaling in the complex India-Pakistan relationship. Our neighbor up north, China, has been using pandas, pineapples and other fruits for diplomatic maneuvering. Durian, also known as the king of fruit, reportedly smells like rotten onion or stinky eggs is now the latest subject. China has been struggling diplomatically with many Southeast Asian countries because of many reasons, building artificial islands in the South China Sea, their claim over the Nine Dash Line, etc. Now that the tensions with the US are on the rise, China plans to charm the Southeast Asian countries by importing the fruit from the region. The fruit was given a special mention by Chinese Foreign Minister Wang Yi during his recent visit to Kuala Lumpur. This morning, we had a working lunch together and my dear friend served me the Mao Shong Wong cake, which is so delicious and I'm so impressed. Wong told a reporter at a joint press conference alongside his Malaysian counterpart Saifuddin Abdullah a few days ago, referring to the cake made with a popular type of Malaysian durian. A day later, in the southern Chinese city of Nanning, Wong was joined by Vietnam's Deputy Prime Minister Phong Binh Minh, where the two sides announced an agreement to allow Vietnam's fresh durian to be exported to the Chinese market in the near future following nearly four years of negotiations. China is already Vietnam's largest trading partner and about 70% of its fruit and vegetables are sold to China. According to the Vietnamese Agriculture Ministry, durian farmers in Vietnam appear to be preparing for the Chinese market to open up. Vietnam would become the second country after Thailand to export fresh durian to China, adding it will give durian farming in the country great room to grow. The more Vietnam can sell to China, the more unwilling Hanoi will be to upset its relationship with Beijing. Vietnam is a member of the US-led Indo-Pacific Economic Framework for Prosperity, launched in May as a part of Washington's efforts to advance economic engagement with the region to counter China's political and economic influence. Stronger trade ties with China could also strengthen Beijing's position. Last year, China imported some 821,600 tons of fresh durian with an estimated value of 4.2 billion US dollars according to Chinese customs data. China has also been talking to Cambodia and the Philippines about importing durians. Earlier this month, a pilot scheme to import frozen durians from Cambodia began with the arrival of the first 50-ton batch, a report said.